If you love thin and crispy pizza, today I am going to show you how to achieve that at home. Let's start with the dough. But first, let's go with the recipe. Remember that you can download my app free for Android or iPhone. Here's the link. We put the flour in a bowl. Then we add the yeast, the salt, and then the water. We mix everything using this Danish mixer until everything is well combined. And now that we're done mixing, check this. There's no gluten development by the moment. So now what we're going to do, I will cover it, leave it here on the countertop for one hour. Okay, it's been an hour and I want you to check the toe. So let me wet my hands and I want you to see this. It's already needed and I didn't do anything. Just wait a few minutes. Now I am going to do a few stretching and foldings Cover it and let it rise till it doubles in size. So before we start baking pizza, we need to preheat the oven. That's really important. And we need to do it at maximum temperature. Yes, the maximum temperature that your oven reaches, that is the temperature needed for baking pizza. And I'll be also using this baking steel, which is going to help us to get the very, very thin and crispy and crunchy pizza. And in case you don't have a baking steel, you can easily buy online any pizza stone that you find. But if you, even though you don't have a baking pizza at home, you can use your oven tray upside down. Yes, you've seen that hack in my 40 pizza hack video. Time to preheat the oven. I put the baking steel in the lower part of the oven. We get all the heat from the bottom and we'll get a very crispy pizza. We'll set the temperature of the oven to maximum heat. In this case, this oven reaches around 530 degrees Fahrenheit. If it reaches a little bit more, better. And if it's a little bit lower, it's okay too. And here we have the pizza dough perfectly proofed. And now it's time to stretch it. We could do it as usual with our hands. But today I'm going to use the rolling pin. But what are you doing, gluten? That is not Neapolitan style. But who told you that we're baking Neapolitan pizza? We are doing a very thin and crispy one. Now we put some semolina on the countertop and we unmold the dough. I know, this dough is full of bubbles and air and it's a pity to smash it with a rolling pin. But believe in me, I know what I'm doing. So now we start searching it with the rolling pin without looking too much at the bubbles. We need to try to keep a rectangular shape. And now that the dough is already stretched, I'm going to reveal the secret of this video. We're going to make a laminated pizza. Yes, like a croissant, with very thin and crispy layers. And to do that, we're going to use olive oil. So now we're going to paint with olive oil half of the dough. And here comes a critical part, folding into itself. Okay, it's not easy. So now let me do the final adjustments. Let me arrange it again. And we paint it one more time till the middle of the dough. And we fold it again. Let me stretch it a little, always keeping that rectangle shape. Now some semolina on the parchment paper. Now we leave it there resting for around 15 minutes. And now that the dough is relaxed, I'll do the final stretching and partially cook it in the oven. If you stretch it too much, cut it with this. And now we smash the edges. And now with this fork, I'm going to spear the dough so we don't get those bubbles when we bake it. And now we are going to partially bake the pizza for around five minutes. And now that it's pre-cooked, thin and almost crispy, let's put it upside down on the pill again. Let's go with the first pizza, which is kind of Roman, potato and bacon. I slice the potato and the bacon in cubes and with a little of olive oil, I pre-bake them for a few minutes. Now on the pizza, we put some shredded mozzarella cheese. Now we go with the potatoes, the bacon, and in a few spots, some stracciatella cheese. And now some rosemary leaves, salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. And now we take it to the oven until the cheese is already melted. But before I take the pizza out of the oven, I want to tell you that if you want to learn more about baking, for example, sourdough bread, you can easily find my sourdough bread masterclass. And here's the link for you to subscribe. 
Do it now. Oh, well, you should smell this pizza. It's incredible. If that's not crispy, what is crispy? And as usual, the best part of the video, tasting. It's so thin and crispy and the potatoes and the bacon, wow. But let's continue with the next one. Let's go with the second pizza. We're going to do the same as before. Now that the dough is relaxed, we stretch it again with the rolling pin and do the final adjustment, cutting the edges so we can keep that square or rectangular shape. And now we do the fork thing. Now we're going to pre-bake it for around 5 minutes. And we put on top some San Marzano tomatoes, pinch of salt and mozzarella di bufala. And now we take it to the oven until the cheese is melted. And here we have it back. Now we go with this incredible Italian prosciutto. Some more stretch until the cheese and a few basil leaves. Now a drizzle of olive oil and that's not Italian. Let's see how crispy it is. I need to try this. Mm. Take a look at those layers. <laughs> wow. Let's go with the third pizza, a classic, pepperoni. But if the Italians hear me saying pepperoni, <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> eh? and here I have another pre-baked pizza. And now I brush it with tomato sauce, pinch of salt, and some shredded mozzarella. And here comes the pepperoni. Yes, a lot of pepperoni. And totally out of the recipe, a few slices of chives to the oven. And now some shredded parmesan. Time to try it. And take a look at this pepperoni slice. Wow, thin, crispy. Wow, and that pepperoni. I need to try this now. Why are you speaking like this? I don't know, but I'm still angry. Mm. So this thin and crispy dough is incredible with all those crunchy layers and what about the topics? Tell me which one was your favorite? The potato, the prosciutto or the pepperoni? All with P, right? Potato, prosciutto, pepperoni, yeah! <laughs> so that's all for today, may the gluten be with you and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.